There have been some major revamps to make the vanilla client and, in turn, the mobile client so much better than they have ever been before. In this video, I'm going to highlight the top 5 settings in the mobile client that previously only existed in RuneLight, and a few settings that have yet to make their way to RuneLight. First up, I am a massive fan of the ground overlays on RuneLight. Now you can turn these on in mobile, along with the ability to import your current RuneLight filtered items so you don't see this next time you're walking through Lumbridge. This allows you to bask in the rare drops when you get them and not have to worry about any clutter. Speaking of rare drops, loot tracking is on mobile now as well. Go to your settings pop out and enable the pop out panel. This gives you two things. First, your XP tracker that works just like Ruin Lights, as well as your loot tracker that allows you to filter items, monsters, sort by grand exchange price, by high elk price, and it even gives you the price for only free to play items if you log into a free to play world. Now, I mentioned that you can import your Ruin Light settings into mobile. So after turning on the pop out panel and the loot tracker in the settings, open the loot tracker, press the gear icon, and that opens up the settings. Copy and paste all the filters from your rune light into this box to filter out what you don't want it to track. Next, go back to the loot tracker and next to the gear icon, there is a drop down menu. Click that and go to the ground items. Here's where you can import all the filtered and highlighted items from your rune light settings. If you want to just do this manually, go to the gear icon once more, scroll down, and turn on edit mode. Guess what? They have made it so leveling is not annoying anymore. And not only can you configure your XP drops by right clicking the XP tracker, but most people use mobile for AFK skilling. And one of the most annoying parts of this is when you hit a level, an interface is going to pop up that stops the action that you're doing. This is incredibly annoying because it makes it so you have to pay more attention to it when you're AFKing a skill. Well, now you can make it so leveling up no longer stops your actions. Go to your settings, search action, and find this option, turn it on. This does not affect your fireworks, the jingle, or your chat and clan announcements. So if you're tired of being interrupted, go ahead and turn this on. Next, most of you probably already know that your character is visually one tile behind where it truly is when walking or running through the map. This is why so many people use the RuneLight plugin called Tile Marker. This makes it so you can see not only what tile you've clicked, but also you're able to see your true tile. Well, now you can do this on mobile. You go to All Settings, go to Activities, and turn on the Highlight Current Tile and Highlight Destination Tile settings. Next, a lot of RuneLight users like using the GPU plugin to increase the render distance and the frame rate for their game. Well, mobile does this as well. Now, this allows the game to run as smoothly as possible while also maximizing your viewing experience with the increased render distance. Frame rate settings are found here, while you can search the word render in all settings to access the view distance settings. Finally, back when I was doing my 500 medium clue video, one of the biggest gripes that I had about mobile was that it was so annoying to do clues without the clue helper. Similarly, agility and slayer have been historically annoying on mobile as well. Well, now you can turn on the clue helper, which is comparable to the RuneLight one. Agility highlights to highlight the shortcuts and rooftop courses and the Slayer Helper displays all the helpful info found in the Enchanted Gym at all times. So you search the words Clue, Agility, and Slayer to enable these settings. Now for some honorable mentions that are incredible, but don't quite make it on the list for their own section in this video. First is making it so when you click the tile your pet is standing on, it allows you to walk there as opposed to talking to your pet or picking it up. This makes all the sweaty PVMing that y'all do on mobile that much easier. Next, unless you're intentionally wanting to death pile, I suggest turning the food and potions forming death piles option off. This way, if you happen to die in an instance area that leaves a gravestone such as Muspa, food and potions go to your gravestone instead of falling to the ground. Now, if you're not trash like me and you never die, well, then I guess you're just a better player than I am. A couple last ones are the fact that you can turn on the setting to make X amount of darts. So if you're wanting to craft a lower amount of darts, you can do that. You can pick up ammo right into your ammo slot. Now, when trading people, you can turn off the super annoying trade timer that turns on every time there's a change in the trade. And uh, if you're prone to being scammed, it, well, it's, it's probably best to keep this one on. And lastly, you likely already know this, but in case you didn't, you can zoom in and out on the minimap. Let me know which one of these settings is the most exciting for you, and also let me know what you're excited for mobile to release in the future so that way you can take your old school grind anywhere.